Hello everybody, this is Barbie. Um, I uh, am starting the new challenge that um, Rachel has started with. It's a 100 day challenge. So it's going to be a real uh, trial for me to try to do 100 days, but I'm gonna try my best. I may combine some days together um, just because of the time factor. And I'm going to try to do uh, videos of all of them. Don't know if I'll make that one or not, so no promises but anyhow this is the um, new um, journal I've gotten started so my challenges are going to be use doing something I can use in this particular journal because I've just got the pages torn out and kind of beginning to get it together so I wanted to show you what I've gotten started for it so far Okay, these uh, pages are from Jan Marsh, I believe it is. She is a beautiful, she does beautiful artwork and on um, natural, nature themes. Janet Marsh is her name. It's called Nature Diary. For anybody who might be interested in getting the book, it's a gorgeous book. It's right up there with, um, um, oh gosh, I always forget her name. The one everybody uses. Um... Nature's Diary, I think is what hers is called. I can't think of it right at the moment. But anyhow, you know what I'm talking about. Um, oh, that makes me mad when I can't remember something. Oh, well, whatever. You know how it goes. Okay, I'm going to just show you real quick kind of what I've got in mind. Um, beautiful bird, anyhow. This is kind of what I'm going for. These are the little snippets. Of, I was getting frame here. Okay. There, there's a little bird, poppies. This is the little snippets I've been doing, and I thought that color went really well there. Anyhow, I, mean, I think I'm thinking about putting that there. Kind of, I've got a folded pocket here, double pocket. It's going to be another of my snippets I did. I posted these uh, on uh, Instagram if you're interested in looking at them. Um, another little pocket. I don't know what all this is. Oh, <laughs> okay. One of the challenges, which I was thinking about going ahead and doing today, is Secret Garden. So I'm thinking about doing that today, and I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but probably make some kind of a pocket here, and so we'll wait and see if that even happens. Um, again, just some, another flower I got. Might put that there, don't know. Just trying to get an idea of how things will lay out. This, uh, I think I'm going to uh, do a fold out. This is my, for my first challenge, which is uh, <clears throat> specimen, what do you call it? Specimen, whatever. Windows, maybe? Specimen, anyhow. This is my take on it. And then the back, I put a little curtain there that'll hang down and a little tag so what i'm going to do i think is hinge it here and leave that little tag to stick up at the very top that's my idea now there's something i wanted i'm going to go ahead and do another one of these specimen um, windows or whatever today because i got an idea um, that i want to show you of how i do that having to do with how to cut out the butterfly and make sure you get you know the reflection of the both sides of the butterfly we'll go through that when i do the other part put that back in there so I don't forget what my idea was <clears throat> this is going to be a center page I think look at that cute little mouse this is some of my coffee dyed papers as you can see this her work is just gorgeous I'm, I'm a watercolor artist so I really I guess maybe more than maybe people who don't do it but I really do appreciate her art it's beautiful art. Okay, I haven't... Oh, this is another one I did the other day. Now, this one, I'm just going to attach the pocket, I think, on like this. I'm going to probably sew it on and attach it like on maybe uh, two sides. Use it for a tuck. Um, same thing here, probably. I'll probably end up just attaching it and make it into a pocket. Um... And then I'll make some, um, these are two pockets. I'll make some big pockets, I mean big tags to put in there 
or pages, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and there again, some of the little snippets I were doing, I was doing the other day. <clears throat> Alrighty, that's where we're going with that. Now, for today, this is what I've got in mind. Okay, where is my little piece of paper? That's a tag. Oh, where's it at? I'm going to put it all over here like a fool. I think what I'm going to do is make it into a pocket, and then I'm going to slide that in as a little journaling card. You can journal on the opposite side like so. So, let's just get busy. Enough of the talking business. Okay, for right now, I think what I'm going to do, I want to do some stamping, number one. So, before I start putting everything on it, I'm going to do my stamping. I saw this, I got this feather, and I don't know if it's going to work or not. I had stamped it once before, and the feather didn't stamp very well. So it may be a bummer here, but I'm going to do it anyhow. So my idea is to stamp down one side, like so. And I think, I don't care if it's real a real strong image. In fact, I prefer it not to be. So what we're going to do is use... Um, Vintage mm. Tim Holtz. What's the name of this stuff? Oop, that's walnut stain. Oh well, walnut stain will work. It's a little darker. We'll see how this comes out. Okay, here we go. I've got a foam mat that's for stamping which allows you to get a good a soft surface there you go that's a good image better than I did before that's a good thing okay then what I thought I would do is go ahead and um, let me get the different ink I don't think I want to use the other ink vintage photo is what I'm looking for There it is. I'm going to just put, uh, do a little stamping with just some um, script I've got here. Hit and miss stamping. I'll probably cover up most of this, but it doesn't matter. I want to get a bit of a background to it. So it's just not plain. Okay, that'll work. Now, I think that's all my stamping I'm going to do, so I'll get rid of that. And Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to get this glued here for my background for this window. And I'm going to also uh, put acetate in it. So... I think what I'll do is go ahead and put my acetate in for right now. At least one of them. And I'm using uh, the 3-in-1 Beacon 3-in-1 glue, which doesn't spread out a whole lot, and you don't want it to get on your acetate. Uh, so what I'm going to do is clean my acetate really good. I don't want fingerprints all over it. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. and it's about getting this glue. Get the goobers off from it first. It irritates me. When you get ready to put that down, and there's a big glue goober right there, and you won't go down. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Now... I want to get it kind of close, maybe within a 
quarter, no more than a quarter of an inch away. From the edge. But not to where even you squish it, it's going to go into the acetate. And what I'm using is, I'm probably out of frame. What I'm using is um, this acetate is like if you're going to cover a, a report, you're going to put it in a report. I don't know what they're called. Okay, there's the first one. It did good. Okay. In fact, I think I'll just uh, go ahead and get my butterfly cut. Now, what I was telling you about the butterfly I wanted to show you is back when I was um, printing, I happened to notice that you could do a mirror image print. And it just hit me that this might be a really good idea for printing out butterflies so that you could get the duplicate image in the mirror type thing. So you see how this is printed with the writing like you're looking through a mirror? So, and then this is the correct way. So what I did is I printed out two sheets and I believe this is Graphic Fairy. Yeah, it's Graphic Fairy. Okay. And then I hid them. <laughs> God. Where is it? Hey, there it is. Okay. So, then there was the problem. What are you going to do? You know, you can't, you're going to have to cut them out twice or what? Well, no, not necessarily. Okay, let me find my little glue sheet. Where is that? I don't know. Does it work? So, my idea was you just cut out, cut out one side. So when you cut out one side, it uses it, it works as, as a guide uh, to glue it together. So that, that was my aha moment. So then what I do is just use my uh, glue stick and glue one of them to the other. Then you would only have to cut it out once, basically, because it's a mirror image. Okay, and then... You have to hold your mouth right because it won't work otherwise. All right, it looks like it's just about right. Yep. It might be just very slightly off, but. Um, and it's not because it wasn't duplicated, it's just because of me and not holding my mouth correctly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start cutting around it then. And I'm going to go ahead and try to save the antennae. Looks like it's working. Yeah. And then I'm going to give them a little bit of an edge. That's going to be your biggest deal is making sure they're lined up correctly so that you've got, so that it doesn't cut off one of your antennae. But if you do, well, you can just cut them off. Okay. Now you see how that worked good on both sides. All right. And... Give it a little bit of a wiggle to get your texture on the wings. And over here, I'm going to trim it a little bit. And again, you can use your ink too if you want to get rid of the white edges, which is what I normally do. Okay. There you go. Okay. 
Okay, that worked pretty good. Surprise, surprise. Now, get this inked up a little, a little bit. I don't want it too inky, but enough to cover those white edges, which is not good. I hope everybody is well and um, everybody is hunkered down and just enjoying a, some time with the family. Seeing how we got to do this thing, and get it get it done, so we can go back to our normal life, whatever that may be. Okie dokie, that'll work. Okay. Next thing is, how are you going to hold it in here? Well, you can just lay it if you want to, and then take your other piece and just lay it on top of there and glue it, which will work. I'm going to stitch around it as well. Um, let me get this wiped off good before I put it down. I didn't have any acetate. All my acetate that I was had saved um, didn't look too good. So that's why I used these page covers or page protectors, I think is what they're called. Give me a while. My brain finally works. Okay, so we can just do it like that, or you could take a piece of washi tape and use it on there, which is okay too, which is what I did on the other one, but I think I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to put it in there and put my glue around the edges and <clears throat> let it catch wherever it catches. And on this one, I'm going to go around the edges here and then also I'm going to go out a little bit further so that it catches all the way around okay here we go And we'll just hold the butterfly and kind of secure it because I don't want the butterfly to move now. I got it a little bit past that, but that's okay. I can just wipe it off. my bone folder. This, our credit card, works really good. Make sure it sticks down good. Alrighty, that looks pretty good. Okay, I think the next thing I want to do is I'm going to glue... I had the, the piece I had, I cut it a little bit longer than I wanted. And also, I was going to tell you too, I had a die cut, several of them in fact, and this is, no, nope, that's not the one I used, this is the one I used to get my opening, which you can do it that way or whichever way that suits your fancy. Alrighty, so all we need to do now is glue this down and then we can cut around it. And then this will be ready to um, put in my book. And I don't know yet how I'm going to do it, but I know I'm either going to use it as a pocket or I'm going to glue it all the way down and just use it as a side pocket. I haven't decided yet. So for right now, all I'm going to do then is just get this glued to this, this piece of paper right here. Card stock. Okay, but I do want to leave this, this side here open. So this done and 
and staying right at the edge. All right. Now I've already got this little card cut out. I may need to take a little bit more off from it. I don't like my cards tight in there because I don't like to have to pull hard to get them out. So I'm going to go ahead then and just cut around the edge of this. I'm going to go ahead and trim this just a little bit because I don't want to cram it all the way down in there. So maybe a quarter of an inch here and then a sliver off of the edge. That's what I'm going to do. be good. I'll need to put a little tab on that so that I can pull it out because I don't necessarily want to cut a little this is kind of thin paper it's copy paper so I don't want to necessarily cut a little divot out there so I think I'm just going to put a little tab on there when I get that done. Okay so next thing we need to do is decide what we're going to put on the journaling card. I got this really pretty image and I believe it was out of the Jan Marsh book but don't hold me to that and my idea is, is to position it where it looks like the butterfly is landing on the leaf, like so. I'm going to make sure I'm not peeling that back there. I should have let it dry a little bit longer. Uh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't sew around it. So I got, I've got to let that dry a little bit longer. Okay. So. I think I'm going to put it about like so. Yep. That looks good. Alright. That's not that critical. Let me get this out of the way. Get my book back down here so I can get my leaf on there. Again, I'm going to use my glue stick. Since I didn't stitch around here, I think what I'll do then is 
once I get this the way I want it, I'm going to do a little bit of crazy stitching on there. That's my idea anyhow. Let's see. There's something else I want to put on there. While we're looking at this. Yeah, I was thinking about putting a flower of some sort on there. Maybe like so. Let's see if that looks too cramped in there. Sometimes simple is better. I can hold this and get it in there. Yeah, that looks good. I don't have it all the way in there, but I think it pretty well in place I put it, it'll be fine. So I can do it that way, or I could do it this way. I like that better, I think. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. The yellow's pretty. Or, let's see if we've got something else here I was thinking about. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about putting that there and let it hang over a bit like so. Put my little patch down here and put my feather like so. I'm thinking about that might work good. And, I need a little tag. What to do with my tags? I mean my labels. I need a label. And these are Love Junk Journal, Tracy Fox. Get them on Etsy. I'll um, put her link down below the, in the bottom of the video. Pollinate. I don't know. I think I like some a blue. I need to print some more. I'm almost out. Yes, blue. That looks good. Yeah, I think I'll cut around that. I think to keep this shorter, I think I'll just do this little tag and uh, that way it won't take me half the day to download it and then I may come back and um, do a video on um, challenge number two. I think Rachel is already on three so I'm behind times here. But no problem. I'll get it done whenever we get it done, if we get it done. This is more of a challenge that I've set for myself to force me to uh, get things like this accomplished. Okay, I don't think I'm going to put anything under that. I don't know. may need a bit of a lace. Let me look at it here. By the time I say I'm not going to, I think, well, maybe I are too. <laughs> yeah, maybe I are too. Yeah, I'm going to. Okie dokie. Now, there we go. I can't ever tell which side's the right side. So I guess must not be too critical of it if I can't tell which one's which. All right, I think I'll use um, three in one glue when we're dealing with fabric. bummer. I was so busy talking and thinking about what I'm going to do. I meant to sew that down. Now I can't. Oh, that's a bummer. All right. Whoop. Let's see. I think I'll go ahead and put this down and then I'll put my other little piece down. Hope I'm in frame. I think I am. Okay. Now I want this to hang over slightly. Yeah, that's good. 
Okay, now, what are we gonna do here? Maybe, I wanna get that little blue in there. That I don't know as I Yep, yeah, that needs to go over here. Like so, I think. Let me see. Nope, not that. Too much green. I was going to put this little bird there, but I think he's too big. So I'm not going to do that. Nope, I'm not going to do that. That's laid plans of mice and men. Sometimes it doesn't work out like you had wanted it to. Maybe I'll do it like that. I like that little touch of blue in there. Yeah, I think I'll just move that out a little bit more. Probably just need to get a little bit bigger piece, but I'm not going to. There you go. That'll work. Yeah. Okay. The, the um, challenge today that um, Rachel is working on is Secret Garden. I really want to do that one. That's fun. Day number two is um, working with handkerchiefs, which I don't have. I don't have any handkerchiefs per se, so I'm going to use... I've got some doilies and different things. Um, I'll have to. It'll have to be good enough. Little um, tea napkins, stuff like that, which looks similar to a handkerchief, about the same size. So um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do on that one yet, but I'm thinking about ripping them in strips and doing a collage, and then cutting them into pockets or tags or something. That's what I'm thinking about doing. But that may change between now and then. I got this smaller um, glue because this stuff gets hard to push down after a while, so I'm hoping that this will be easier to use because there's, you know what I'm saying, the container's smaller. Okie dokie. Now, all I need to do is make my little tab go on there. I need to cut off the edges of this lace right here. Oh. Ah. I'll do it from this side. There you go. Okay. Now, let's see what this looks like now that this has had a little time to dry. Make sure I don't need to trim it anymore. I think that looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to take some scraps. And just cut me up some scraps here. Some blue jean fabric. And a little bit of lace, I think. Let's see. I've got some chiffon here that might be fine. I'll try that and see. Also have these little, this is after midnight um, irises. I wonder if that might look good. Hmm. No, I think I, I think that's too fussy. 
I think I'm just going to need to put a button on there and get it out and see what it looks like. So I think what I'm going to do is just uh, <coughs> excuse me, I got a tickling in my throat. Okay. Hmm. All right, Let's see something like that. So I think all I'm gonna do is just start gluing it down. Works best to do it that way. Not dilly dally with it too much. And you start second guessing yourself. I think I'm going to put it a little bit off center. See how that might work. Like so. Only thing I'm concerned about is getting it a little bit um, so it's not it's it's um, got some dimension to it. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, there you go. I don't want to line it up totally. I want it to be kind of, yeah, like that. So now turn it over, and we'll do the same thing. I just want to cover that side there. It's the only thing I'm concerned about right now. With this, this piece of fabric. Let's see. There you go. Now, when I put this one down, I need to make sure that it's right behind this light colored fabric so we don't see the, although if you see the other side, it wouldn't be that big a deal either, but still, that's my game plan. There you go. Now, we just need to put a button on it and that'll be done. Now, when I sew this in, I want—I don't want to see the um, tail or the knot, and so I pull it apart a little bit, get it started, and get the knot in behind, in between the fabric, like so, so you don't see it. Make sure that's not got a loop in it. There you go. Now need to sew it on. I like to do a little X on the four hole button. I'm going to do an X pattern. Now I'm going all the way through both uh, all the fabric which then stabilizes the fabric and sews it all together. Now I've got a double thread here, so I don't do two more, and no more as a rule than just, you know, one pass through. And then tie it off in the back. Do a double knot, which means you just go through it twice. And be careful not to get a loop in it. Now, just to be sure, I might go through one more time, just to be sure. Okay, that's pretty good. Shouldn't come out. Put the threads off, we're ready to go. Simple journaling card.
specimen pocket. Okay. There you go. I think I got a bit of a glare. I think it turned out pretty cute. Okie dokie. Um, hope you come back to uh, check out my next videos and um, see what I've got up my sleeve or not. <laughs> Anyhow, y'all have a wonderful day. And this is Barbie signing off. Bye-bye.